going on, everyone? Welcome back to another edition of BKMY Hoops. If you're new to the channel, I am your host, as always, Rashid White. All right, so we're going to look into Nick Smith. Now, the big trade everybody's talking about around the NBA is, you know, as everyone knows, is Bradley Bill actually going to the Phoenix Suns. Now, that's a lot, a lot of firepower. And I thought the Brooklyn Nets, and there's a lot of parity around the, uh, around the NBA right now. Uh, especially like really in the Eastern Conference, Miami. I mean, all they really need is kind of one piece to add to that team, and it's going to make it really, really, really hard to actually compete in the Eastern Conference after the Brooklyn Nets. Now, I'm looking at the team as currently constructed. I'm like, man, now, I mean, the whole Bradley Beal thing and wherever Dame is actually going to, uh, looks like he may wind up in the East somewhere. Hopefully, it's not us, but maybe the Miami Heat. Uh, I, I, it's a game changer. So we're going to need some firepower coming off the actual, um, off the bench this year. And, and remember, it's only, only one basketball. Now, the problem with a lot of these college players is that they're actually used to being the man, being that guy. And when they actually come into the NBA, there's players that are actually better than them or more, more established than them. Or you have like they're like they're more efficient scorers where you have a guy who can actually score like Cam Thomas, but it's not necessarily an efficient scorer. You know, he has to take a lot, a lot of shots to actually get points. So I'm looking at Nick Smith over here, and I have my I have my bag of notes. I think I did a lot of writing, a lot of writing over here. I was supposed to do this video last night, but this was a lot of notes on this guy over here. Just trying to study, study, study his game and then analyze him. But so we're gonna look in. Should I go with the bad news first or the good news? I mean, the good stuff or the bad stuff? Let's start with the good. He's an excellent driver going to his right hand. So he has to actually really kind of work on uh, going with, going to his left hand and learning how to make uh, either plays or scoring or maybe even passing with his left hand and on the NBA level. Uh, he has a good floater actually going to his right hand. Uh, excellent pull-up jumper going to his right. So that's a good, especially even coming out of like the pick and rolls. So that's a good thing right there. He can actually uh, come up those screens and actually uh, uh, pull up for some jump shots just in case uh, you have a defender. Let's say if a big man, especially if a big man actually gets switched on to him, he can actually really pull up, you know, pull up uh, coming up those uh, screens right there. Uh, Good thing that we actually need on this team is excellent catch and shoot players. Uh, and with a really, really quick release though. So that's a good thing. I mean, he actually, you know, that's one of the things I like about him. He's actually took the time to learn actually actually how to get, to learn how to actually get his feet set properly and, and to get a good quick release. And this should really, really, you know, really actually help. Cause we don't, the last thing we actually really need is like more ball dominant players. So uh, when we have like really kind of two or three guys, we can actually run the offense through. So to have him, to have him be able to be a really good catch and shoot player is really, really good, especially from the three point line. Uh, he's a really, really good on ball defender. And he actually really tries to fight through those screens. So that's really, really good right there. I mean, damn, Cam Thomas, it's not looking good for you, man. So you got to really drastically improve, man. Or oh, oh, they're going to really, really try to replace you here, man. A lot of players actually coming out. And what else over here that we have? Oh, yeah. So excellent lateral movement. And then having his, you know, his hands up ready to actually challenge shots. So that's a, that's a good thing. All right. So let's get into the negatives on um, our boy Nick Smith over here. Uh, shot selection, decision making, and... He has kind of a tendency to actually speed himself up. So that's not really good. I mean, on the NBA level, it's going to be like a whole different level. College, you know, college NBA is like two different stratospheres. So he really needs to kind of work on that. Uh, he's really hardwired to actually really score. So he has like a score, score, scores mentality. So that's something that he actually has to really work on. And with the new coaches that was brought in, maybe he can actually do that. This is something he can practice uh, if he does get drafted by the Brooklyn Nets in that summer league game to really, really start reading the uh, the actual survey and the actual the actual uh, uh, courts there and see if he can actually make players better. Uh, so um, often leaves his feet 
without really it just oh like over over it was what that right over here often leaves his feet without a plan so just really kind of like overthinking the game you know she's just one of like i guess with more opportunities and, and uh um more touches we'll see maybe he goes into the g league uh, i don't know hopefully not uh that over penetrates into traffic so that's another thing right there's another weaknesses that he has to work on uh unpolished yeah i think i put this already yes yeah, an unpolished uh pnr passive so uh there's also like a one or two one two second delay right there which is actually critical so it doesn't mean much but it does when guys are actually ready to catch the ball and uh, go with the move and then you don't pass it to them right away they kind of let their, their their guard down a little bit and then uh, you throw it to them and then kind of throw that game off so it's just uh, uh, um, just you know I, I mean I think with more experience listen if the Joker was a <laughs> I didn't realize I forgot that he was picked number 41 so any, anything is possible anything is certainly possible here all right, so what do you guys actually think? Should the Brooklyn Nets actually draft Nick Smith? I mean, the the uh, the strengths are really, really good here. But then some of the... Well, you don't actually... I mean, all, all the negatives I actually mentioned is not that bad. I don't think the Brooklyn Nets are going to want the ball in his hands. But so much, especially for like a rookie being picked in the 21st draft. And I actually believe they actually have playoff aspirations. So you can't really afford a lot of mistakes. Or maybe they can in the first 20, 20 something games where you got veteran teams aren't going to really be able. To, they're not going 100 percent. Veteran teams like the Phoenix Suns, the Devon Nuggets, especially coming up for championship, uh, Boston Celtics. These teams, Miami Heat, they're not going to really, really be going 100 uh, percent like that. So if they can actually jump and you know jump out in front of the race, and this is a marathon right here. Uh, we'll actually see. Maybe Nick Smith can actually turn into like a decent, productive player there. All right, so like, comment, subscribe. Certainly share this video. And when you share, the universe certainly shares back with you. Peace.